Oh, what's in the box? None of the parts in this unit are serviceable, so this is just uh, curiosity to see what's in the box. You can see there's three phases to the motor. Uh, the covers seem to have some intrusion circuit built into them, so I guess if you take the cover off, the system shuts down. Now on the TCM side, uh, we have a top layer of circuitry and the three fuses. Another intrusion circuit. Here's a little better look at those fuses inside. Again, none of this stuff is serviceable. There's this coolant port between the TCM and the actual traction motor. Coolant comes in that tube on the side there and comes back out through that hole and down into the t traction motor. You can see an O-ring there. I guess that's a potential spot for a leakage. Here's a second layer of electronics in the TCM. Damn, iPad doesn't like to uh, focus on circuit boards for some reason. See this black thing? It seems to be a large capacitor inside of it. Yeah. And under there, there's another circuit board, third layer of uh, electronics. Here's a traction motor. You can see the big rotor down the center. It seems on the end of uh, the housing there's a uh, sensor there. Some sort of speed or position sensor and these odd shaped lobes on the end of the rotor inside. The three lobes there. Now that, here's the housing with just the uh, windings in there, fairly heavy unit, it's uh, a lot of windings in there, a lot of copper. That rotor is really tough to get out. It has a very powerful magnet in it and it just doesn't want to come out of there. They must have one uh, massive jig to put this thing in without contacting the sides.
used to use the ones that coil out of the back of the coal wheel, brought out of the transfer case, right? Yeah, they were put under the bench and hook it to a battery. Nobody was taking any of your sockets off the bench. <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm interested in how the speed control works. There's those rotors I was talking about. Those funny lobes.